All right, big day. Uh, this is gluing angle day. Very nervous about this. I'm not going to film doing it. But I thought I'd show my prep. First thing to do is make sure you've got the right ankle on the right leg. If you look at the leg, you can see there's a horizontally longer rectangle opening there. And there's a smaller vertical one there. Look at your ankle, horizontal, vertical, ankle facing up. So this is the leg facing up, ankle facing up. So you know you've got the right ankle. Check your fit. Um, this one is pretty tight. My other leg that I reprinted the ankle just recently is a little bit looser fit. This one's pretty tight. Um, it was rough inside. It wasn't that good of a print inside so I sanded it smooth and it went from being like super tight to being just tight. So I think that's going to be alright. Um, I took a tip from the Astromech forums Jason Charlton's uh, R2-D2 build blog. Um, he had mentioned that when you have the legs assembled and you put the booster covers on here and the booster covers have uh, small notches in them with silver paint um, you can see down to the ankle and if you leave the ankle white, this one is white not because it's painted, it's just I printed this in white filament um, it kind of stands out that you can see the little scallops of the silver cutouts in the ankle booster down here are white so Jason was going to possibly paint silver on his ankles but then uh, user on Astromech Forums Max Stang showed a picture of his droid not 3D printed but his droid had black and it really looked good that you could see the black color because it kind of makes it look like a shadow like he says so I went with that and I printed or painted uh, some satin Rust-Oleum satin black. It's the color I had. I didn't bother smoothing it because there's such small cutout areas that having a few layer lines you're probably not going to notice at all and if you do hey it'll just look like machined aluminum maybe. So the reason I put tape here is I'm expecting some tape ooze out and because this is paint I figured I'd cover it up so the uh, epoxy didn't get on the paint but now that I think about it that's probably not a big deal there because the ankle bracelet uh, will cover that. Well the ankle bracelet opens up to here so actually that is a good idea. Whatever. I'm gonna leave it on there. So if uh, epoxy oozes out um, I should be able to just remove the tape and it'll take the epoxy with it or I can you know wipe with paper towel the excess epoxy off and it won't um, make the paint ruin or run or anything. That made me think about the leg. Same thing, I'm going to be putting epoxy in there, it's a tight fit, there is going to be ooze out. Um, there's more, for whatever reason, there's more breathing room on the sides than there is on the top and bottom. So I don't expect as much to ooze out there, but there definitely will be ooze out on the front and back. So what I did is I put some painter's tape. If you can see, hopefully, hopefully you can see my legs are printed in white filament and painted white. So I've got the tape just a bit above the paint. So the epoxy should go just to the paint line and then I've got like I don't know sixteenth of an inch maybe a little bit more higher up I've got the tape so that if there's ooze out there again hopefully I can wipe it off with a paper towel so it doesn't get onto the paint or I might even be able to just 
pull the tape off and it'll take all the ooze off with it. I have my ankle bracelet on. Remember, if you don't put this ankle bracelet on before you glue the ankle on, then you're going to have to cut the back side of the ankle bracelet off so you can put the front on like that and then glue the back half like that. So you need to slip that on before you glue these two parts together. So that's uh, that's my setup, that's my process. We'll see how it goes in a few minutes. Um, I did not, I went to the local Ace Hardware and they did not have the JB Weld that I had been using. They were sold out of JB Weld, um, I think it's called Plastic Bonder. It's a tan color, not this yellow color. Uh, but this one is Plastic Weld, works on most plastics, has a good strength rating, 3900 PSI, and it's a uh, 5 minute set epoxy, so I'll be using that. I'll be putting some in this uh, little fast food sauce cup that uh, Last time I got some barbecue sauce from a fast food place, I'm like, oh, hey, it would be a good cup to mix epoxy in. And I'll be mixing up quite a bit because um, although this is really a tight fit here, like I said, there's some space on the sides. So I want to make sure I get enough on the sides. So I'll be going over. I'll put some on this on the bottom and then also inside the angle, so that's going to be quite a bit of epoxy um, all over the place. So I'll be mixing up quite a bit. And again, sticker shock this year, everything costs more. This was I think $11 at Ace. It would have been, I'm sure, cheaper if I went to the Home Depot or Lowe's, but Ace is just down the street, so I went there and I got something for lunch. And figured that's going to be good enough with that strength rating. So there you go. Wish me luck. All right. That seemed to work. A little tiny bit of spooge out there. Um, so there, it, it worked perfectly um, as I wanted it to. Um, the glue that came out, I was able to use a paper towel and go around to wipe it off between the tape and the top of the ankle, which is fine because I wanted to glue the ankle bracelet in place. So that left some film on the ankle and on the tape, and then I peeled the tape off and it was clean. I um, also peeled the tape off of here and it was clean after again using a paper towel to get wipe off what I could and there's a little bit there but it's on the inside where it's not in the way of the booster covers um, legs so it's not going to interfere with anything after this video I might get in there with a screwdriver and just see if I can get it out while it's still wet um, I did put some after I peeled the tape off and I had the paper towel with some the extra epoxy I put it down in this corner and in this corner because the ankle bracelets I scraped the paint off I just a diagonal line with a hobby knife and then scraped the paint off and roughed it up a bit to help adhesion so there's epoxy now holding the ankle bracelet in each corner to the ankle and they're also from when I wiped it off. Some was on the tape and some was on the bottom of the ankle. So that'll help the ankle bracelet stick there as well. Um, it does have some movement forward and back. I'm going to say that it probably, if I'm going to err on the side of caution, I should probably try and make it come forward just so the booster covers will clear this area. All 
Okay. And now it's too big to fit any plastic container where the leg has lived for nearly a year. So now, till I get it put on R2, I'm not sure where I'm going to put it. I'll be leaning up against something just like it is right there. Um, all of the parts that go onto the ankle are now painted. I did the ankle cylinders yesterday, the blue part of them, and I got too much clear coat, but because there's a piece that goes here that covers the bottom of the cylinder and there's the blue piece that goes here that covers the top, it's going to cover all of the blemishes where I slightly messed up the clear coat. So I was going to sand down the clear coat a bit and put another coat on to fix it, but I'm not going to because I don't have to. You'll never see the areas that are slightly messed up. And then we, I went over the ankle details there in a different video. They are silver and then the ends have now been painted blue. So um, the booster covers I started last year but I haven't done anything with this year. They are a piece I'm really afraid of painting because they have so many angles that I can't see how I'm going to do it without getting either insufficient blue paint on them or runs because that's really a thing that tricks me up is trying to get paint in angles and then I end up getting too much on the flat surfaces because I'm trying to get it in an angle and I spend too much time uh, spraying. So um, that's one of the reasons I haven't worked on it. Another one is it, it's one of those things that doesn't have to be done this year. I'm not going to finish R2 this year. There's, I don't have enough time to, to do all the rest of the um, prep work and paint that I need to. But I'm concentrating on getting the legs done. And so ankles um, to leg, that's super important. Ankle bracelets were super important because that's part of this. I wanted to get these details done because when R2's on his feet, it's going to be more difficult to put those parts on. So I've got the detail parts all done. The only thing right now, these details, I'm not too happy with the quality of the ones I printed last year. I might try and print them again. And then how they stay in place, I'm not sure. This is all painted. And the way they sit in here, there's, there's two small circles that will touch here. And then on the back, it's like a kind of like a knurled circle and so there isn't much surface area back there to glue. There is a hole that you can bolt so I might look at that but that means I have to get a screw or bolt that goes the length of of that and into the part so we'll see but um, this is just what I wanted to do today. Take a little break from uh, working on parts needed to get him on his feet. These side vents are uh, something I wasn't sure if those can be put in after his legs are on or if those need to be put in before his legs go on. And I just saw somebody post on the Badly, Michael Badly Facebook page and they showed a couple pictures of their droid that they put together before painting, which again, dry fit is what I did not do of the entire droid and should have. But it really looked in that picture like they're the side vents that go on the body in this area that there's not going to be enough room to get them in once the legs are on and I thought there was going to be so I think those just moved to the head of my list of things to um, finish um, this year because I should have everything else needed to get them on his legs Obviously, I've done the horseshoes, that's in another video, but I haven't done the buttons that go in the horseshoe or the cylinder that goes in the other side. So those details haven't been done. This center piece that goes in there, that hub, that cover hasn't been done. The ring that goes around it hasn't been done. 
watched Jason Charlton's video again where he shows the assembly of the legs, which was great. Thank you, Jason, for that. Um, it let me know that this ring that you print, yeah, there's a silver hub cover that goes in here, and then there's a ring that secures it. That ring should be uh, white. I wasn't sure if it should be silver or white, but uh, it looks like it should be white. So again, that's something that doesn't need to be on there to get the legs on because the bolts to hold the legs on are those four. So it's just kind of a decorative thing. But there we go. Like number one, now I gotta do number two, which will be easier because the fit was a bit looser. So there might not even be any um, epoxy coming out. Or actually what it means, I guess, is I need to put more epoxy on than I did on this one. Since there's more gap. There we go. I gotta go way back to get a home frame now.